In this video, we will take a look on the flat list functionality, how to do an infinite scroll. Right now, we have all the tasks in the one flat list loaded at the start. So we have 100 tasks and we can have 1000 tasks and all will be loaded at the start. What we want is to load several tasks, for example, 10 or 20 at the first time. And then when we scroll, we want to load another and another and another. You can see such functionality on the Twitter or Instagram when you're scrolling the tasks or the posts are loading infinitely. So how to do this? Here we have a task component. It uses the use effect hook to, lo to load the stream of the tasks. And then it transmits these tasks into the flat list. Flat list is the React Native component to show in the list of data and to enable the scrolling. Flatlist also supports some helper functions. For example, on and reach, which takes a function and does something. So here, for example, we can fetch some more data. Another helper method that Flatlist has is on and reach threshold, which means how far from the end of the list when we scroll, we should trigger the fetch more method. So if you put a zero, it means once we get to the end of the flat list, we will trigger a, trigger a method fetch more. If I would put 0 0.5, it would mean that the fetch more method would be triggered when I reach the half length of the whole list that is rendered. So let's try and leave the zero. Now, what would the fetch more do? Well, probably fetch paginated results from the from some query. Now let's go back to the database query and create some query that would get us a paginated results from Firebase. So here we have a query that will get tasks ordered by created add and it will take only 15 first tasks that will get into the result. This will serve us for loading the first batch of the tasks. All right, so now we have a method to fetch first 15 tasks. We don't need this anymore. And instead, we will fetch first 15 tasks once the component loads. So let's use again the use effect hook. Like this. And let's try and run the application. As you can see, only 15 tasks were loaded, but nothing happens when I scroll down. Well, let's see what happens here. If we put here the lock, That tells that we have called a fetch more method. Then let's see if it's getting called once we scroll to the end. Well, we can see that first fetch more called was called once we render the component 
and then the component tried to call it one two more time because we also reached the end of the component. But because we load only first 15 tasks all the time, we don't show any more here. Let's now update the fetch more method to load the consecutive tasks from the database. Parser query supports a method that is called start after. And it tells to the Firestore to fetch the documents after the one that we provide. So it means we should provide some document here. But we will not be doing this all the time because for the first time when we load we don't have this document. First we have to load the first page and then take the last document of it and only then we can use it to, to load another page with start after. So let's modify this method a bit more. Here I say that it can be either document or undefined. So again, if the document exists, it means that we are loading consequent batches, then we start after the last document. If the document doesn't exist, meaning that we are loading the first batch, then we just start at first batch. Let's now use this modified method in the tasks. We will need some helper method to get the last document. And let's make it generic so it can work with any array of the items. So we can also reuse it, for example, for some other use cases. So what does this method do? Slice method called on an array will create a new array from this index. Minus one means that we'll take last one from the array. And this will means that we'll take first the item from the new array. So we are creating a new array from the existing. We take the last item and we return the first item from this array. As this array has only one item, we return it. So in total, this function takes last item from an array. Now we can call it and post last item to the get paginated tasks. But we have a problem with TypeScript. As an object that we send to, the, to this function is a task. This is our object. But this function expects a snapshot of data from the Firebase. Let's modify our tasks component to store not the tasks, but the snapshots itself. The document snapshot is the LAS for the Firestore Firebase type document snapshot, which is in fact a real raw object from the database. It doesn't have any other type and in our code we retype it to the task using this method. So it takes the document snapshot and returns the task. And all what we do, we just type the attributes of the data into our task data. So instead of tasks, we will be storing the snapshots and mapping those snapshots into the tasks once we need them. We can delete this and use only snapshots right now. And while setting the snapshots, we don't want to replace those existing with the new ones. We want to add them to the existing array so we can show all the tasks in the component. And let's also update this function 
so we can send how much items we want to load in first batch and also consecutive batches. Let's say we would like to load 20 items right now. And also here we have to update, we don't have the tasks, we have the snapshots which we can now map to the tasks. Like this. So now when the application was refreshed, you should see only 20 tasks load here. On the right side of the iOS simulator, you can see the scroll bar that is almost across the whole height of the screen. So if you now scroll down, You can see that it got smaller and we have loaded another tasks 80 to 60 and once we again scroll down again it got smaller and we loaded another tasks and another tasks and another tax till we loaded all of them and then nothing happens you can delete the unused code optimize imports and that's it. And just to recapitulate what happened. We are storing the snapshots in the component state. These are all the snapshots that we load consequently from the database. We show the snapshots in the flat lists and we map them before the showing to the tasks. We use on end reach callback on the flat list and we call fetch more once it's called. And it is called once we get to the last item from on the list. Fetch more instead takes the last item of the snapshots that we have, passes it to the get paginated task. The get paginated task function will query for all the documents, will limit them to this to some number, and will take only after the document that we have specified. Like that, we will get an increment of documents which we concatenate to existing snapshots, which means adding them to the existing array of the snapshots. And instead, once we update the snapshots, the flat list gets rendered and renders all the other components that we have.